Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because we had this nice breakout to the upside as expected. If you were trading this with a long then congratulations if you longed with me and uh, we have to analyze the price action right now because we have some bearish signs coming up. And later on, we of course also gonna have a look into Ethereum and also into the DXY. So let's start here in the four hour time frame in the Bitcoin price, because as you can see currently, we still have this pump going on with the target to reach here at least the $38,000 potential, even go higher. But it looks like that currently Bitcoin could form here a rising wedge. And of course, this is a bearish pattern, which usually breaks out to the downside. And therefore, we have to analyze the potential targets here. So in the four hour currently, the good thing is that we are trading above the 50 level in the RSI. Also, we are still maintaining this green trend line. So even if we will come down here to retest this area, we should see here a bounce and continue to go higher. So as long as we are maintaining this green trend line in the RSI, everything is good to go to the upside and we could reach our target here of around $38,000 potentially even go higher. And the bearish thing is here that currently you can see my own indicator, we could get a sell signal pretty soon and that could indicate that we will see this breakout from this rising wedge here to the downside and revisit potentially this area down here of around $34,000. This is where right now the 200 moving average is lining up in the four hour time frame and also the 20 moving average. So if you longed right now, then make sure to lock in profits, make sure to put a stop loss in profits because if we are coming down again towards this price region down here and we're gonna see a bounce at this important support here, you can re-enter along if we get another buy signal down in this area. Because over on Discord, we are trading the three hour time frame and here also it looks like that very soon we could get a sell signal but so far nothing is flashing and also nothing is confirmed so in theory we should see the price going higher towards our target of around $38,000 and there we're gonna see if we're getting rejected or if we're gonna see follow through to the upside. So let's see and wait what will happen in the next couple of hours. Just make sure that you lock in always profits when you're longing over on Bybit or Femex. That is very important. And now we can also go over into the daily time frame because here we can see that we had yesterday a nice bullish close above the 20 daily moving average and also above our previous resistance here at $34,000. So even if today we are coming down here to retest the 20 daily moving average and close above this important price level now, then we will have the confirmation that we are back in a bull trend and we should expect the price to go higher, potentially to take out this high here at $38,000 and go to retest the old all time high of $42,000. So the daily time frame is looking again very bullish my friends. We had here a buy signal in my own indicator. The RSI is now also bouncing from the 50 level. So in theory we should see here $42,000 pretty soon potentially even go higher because if this correction that we have seen in the last couple of days and weeks was a bull flag then the target is towards $60,000 and you definitely want to sit in a nice long position over on Bybit or Femex if you want to take as much gains as possible. The only question is right now if we are coming down again to retest this $34,000 or if we're gonna just go straight towards this bullish price target. In my opinion, most likely we're gonna have here another short lift crash towards 34,000, retest the 20 daily moving average and then potentially gear up here for a big parabolic move to the upside. So also the daily time frame is looking very bullish, my friends. And if we go over into the weekly time frame, also here you can see that currently we're getting supported by the nine weekly moving average. And as you can see right now, we have this price level here at around $31,000, which should hold as a very strong support. If you see that we're gonna have a four hour or daily close below $31,000, that could indicate that this pump was just a fake out and we will most likely have a bigger correction towards our 20 weekly moving average right here at $22,000. But at the moment, it is very unlikely. 
And the funny thing is that while Bitcoin is pumping and looking so bullish, we also have the DXY, the US dollar index forming right now a potential ascending triangle, which of course is also very bullish pattern. And also here I'm expecting a big breakout to the upside, which will take us most likely towards the 100 daily moving average at around $92. That maybe could be a warning sign that we will see another correction in the Bitcoin price. But since the DXY and Bitcoin is at the same time pumping, maybe we are not anymore so much inverse correlated to the DXY as we had previously. So if the DXY is pumping towards this direction up here and Bitcoin will not have a bigger correction, then I think we are looking way more bullish in the Bitcoin price and we should expect 60K very, very soon. So that's why we have to keep a very close eye also here in the DXY what will happen because even though we could see this breakout towards the 100 daily moving average, maybe even towards the 200 up here at $94, I think latest here we're gonna see a big rejection in the DXY and as soon as here we're gonna fall again, we're gonna see a big spike in the Bitcoin price to the upside of course. So now let's switch over into the Ethereum price because we have a new all time high, my friends. We are reaching right now approximately $1,600. As you can see yesterday, I mentioned that we could be in this ascending triangle. We had a breakout, but I told you also that we have to go above this resistance line up here, this green line currently at around $1,600. We tested it, we got rejected for now. So this is really the last resistance before Ethereum is going completely parabolic here towards 2K and potentially even higher because as long as we are trading within this channel, we could still get rejected here and have another retest of this $1,500 area, maybe even crash down towards the 200 moving average right here at $1,200. You can also see my own indicator that similar like Bitcoin, we could get a sell signal pretty soon and that could indicate that we're gonna see another little correction before maybe we're gonna break out here to the upside. So even though I'm very bullish for Ethereum and it looks like that we could now break out here to the upside and go towards 2K, keep in mind that we are still within this channel and as long as we are not seeing a clear breakout here to the upside and also confirmation that 1,600 is the new support, we still could fall again towards $1,200 and if this support will not hold, then we might see a bigger correction towards the beginning of this channel, which is right here at our previous resistance, which now should be acting as a strong support at $950. So even though Ethereum is looking very bullish in my opinion, we still have this huge resistance up here at $1,600 and we have to wait for a clear breakout and confirmation before we can completely go FOMO into Ethereum as well. So you can see that currently both on Ethereum and Bitcoin, even though we're looking so bullish, we still have for the short term some warning signs that we maybe could see one last leg to the downside to retest important supports and then gear up for the big breakout here to the upside. We are not completely out of the woods yet, my friends, especially if here we're going to create a lower high in the four hour time frame. This wouldn't be a good sign. That's why it is very important that latest with the next leg down, we're going to have a big bounce and also create higher highs in the four hour time frame and later on also in the daily time frame. This is going to be very, very important. So as you can see, my friends, short term, we maybe could see another leg down. But long term, especially in the daily time frame, we are looking again very bullish. And if we're going to see another $34,000 retest, make sure to scale in some nice long positions. So if you took a long already below $34,000, you may be just going to keep your long position and stack it up. If we're going to go again towards this price level, otherwise make sure to lock in the profits and then re-enter a long position. And remember this one over here, we opened up with our last buy signal that we had down here at around $32,000. I entered without leverage because as you can see, my liquidation price is very far away from us. And remember, if you go without leverage in on Bybit, you can still change your leverage at any time. So as you can see here on this trade, I have completely no leverage and I can change at any time, for example, into a 100x leverage. And here you can see that my gains are still the same, but my position now is not anymore $3,000, but it's only $30. So my position margin is back into my balance. And like this, I can compound my trade on the way to the upside if we would start to pump like 
crazy. So if you also want to take as much gains as possible when we are going to the upside, then make sure to open up an account over on Bybit and Femex with my referral links down below here because currently on both exchanges, we have some special bonus that is going on. So make sure to take this promotion because it's only valid until the 5th of February. And otherwise, if you don't feel too much comfortable in trading yourself with leverage, then maybe try out Prime XPT because here you can easily copy trade other trades and we have a special promotion only for the people that signed up with my referral link down below here you can put in these promo codes in prime xpt to get 50 percent bonus on your deposit and also 25 percent of the fees make sure to use these promo codes on prime xpt if you signed up with my link and prime xpt is also giving us several 50 dollars giveaways to celebrate 5,000 subscribers here on youtube so make sure to hit that like button my friends subscribe to the channel because as soon as we're gonna reach 5,000 subscribers Prime XPT will give us several $50 coupons on Prime XPT completely for free that everyone can use them to do some trading and of course also for the co-vesting feature here on Prime XPT as you can see there are some top traders with more than 10,000 percent in gains so definitely try it out if you want to do some passive money and you don't want to trade yourself with leverage so with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. Make sure to join also our great Discord trading chat. We have a very great crypto family over there. And this is also the place where you can get access to my live stream indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. To get access to the stream, a little donation is needed, but the chat is completely for free. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye.